Hi guys, in today's quick tip for web design tests, I will teach you everything about CSS triangles. Okay, I will start by creating a div element with the class triangle. And I will give this div a width and a height of zero. I will also give it four different borders border top 50 pixels solid red let's copy this border right bottom and left now i will change the colors blue yellow and green and here you can see the result because the diff has a width and a height of zero and it has four borders, the borders actually stretch out and they create triangles. With this piece of code, we can make any triangle we want to make. So let's say you want to make a triangle like this green one. We draw a rectangle around it. And all the borders that are not part of this rectangle can be removed. So blue can be removed. Now we still have our, our triangle, we just have to make the red and yellow invisible. And we can do this by changing the color to transparent. Perfect. Now I will show you another example. Let's say you want to extract the left half of the red triangle. This little, this little piece here. You just draw a rectangle around it. Blue and yellow are not in this rectangle, so those two borders can be removed. Now I just have to make the green parts invisible, transparent, and here we have it. So it's very easy to make triangles in CSS, but how do you use them in real projects? Now I will show you, show you how you should do this. We will make a CSS tooltip. I will start with the markup. It's basically an anchor tag with the class tooltip and an extra attribute for the content of the tooltip. Let's give it some basic styling. Font 18 pixels. Helvetica. Arial. text decoration none and color black now what we want to do is put this this piece of content in the anchor tag we can do this with before and after i will show you how this works before works like this it's actually a selector and you put it here then you say contents and here you specify the contents so before and this piece of contents will be put it here and you can see it in the result the same thing for after but after puts the content here at the end of the anchor tag what we want to do is when we hover the tooltip we have to show something. We have to show the content of the attribute data tooltip. So we will say attribute data tooltip. This actually gets the content from this attribute. And this should work already. Yes, it works. Now I'll apply some styling to it. Display block, padding 0.4m, color white, background color dark gray, and I will give it a border radius of 0.4m. Perfect. Now I, I will put it a little bit uh, under the anchor, 
So I will say position absolute. And because we, we use position absolute here, we have to say here position relative. Then top 1.7m and left 25%. Perfect. Except the text is divided on two lines. How do we fix this? We can fix this with white space. White space, no wrap. Now I will add the little arrow. We will do it on the same way, but instead of after, we are going to use before. So tooltip, hover before, display block content empty you always have to specify the content even if it's empty position absolute and now we are going to apply our little border trick so border top 0.5 m solid red we will copy this right bottom and left blue green and yellow <clears throat> here we have it so we need the green triangle so we can remove the red one and we will make the yellow and blue one invisible now change the color to transparent And here we have it. I will change the color of our triangle to gray. And now I will have to put it on top of the tooltip. So top 1.2M, I guess. And left 50%. Perfect. Now, the reason why we use M instead of pixels is because it scales. If we change the font size to 40 pixels, everything will scale, so it still looks beautiful. Now, the only problem with this technique is that we can't give a border to the little arrow here, because it actually is a border. I will show you how you can fix this right now. We will, we will use a different technique. It still starts with display block, content, nothing, and position absolute. We will give a width and a height of 1m. And a background color of dark grey. Perfect. Now I will rotate this little box here with WebKit transform. Of course, if you work on a real project, you would use all the prefixes. Rotate 45 degrees. Now we can see that we have a little triangle here on top. I will put this box a little bit more below with top 1.2M and left 50%. Now I can apply a border to it, border top 0.2m, solid gray, border left 0.2m, solid gray. Now I will also apply border to the tooltip. And to fix this here, we have to put the triangle box on top of the tooltip. We can do this with Z index. Z index 4, for example. And that fixes it. So I will show you again how it scales thanks to the M values. Everything uh, scales with the font size. So that's it. Thanks for watching and have fun with it.